What is going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your rear license plate light. There's pretty much two of them for your 2010 to 14 Mustang. All we are going to do is we're going to be replacing one and it's pretty much the same process for the other one. Okay, so the first step in order to replace your license plate light is you're gonna need to remove the whole entire bumper. I know it sounds pretty daunting, but it's actually very simple. What you gotta do first is unscrew these Phillips head screws. There's three of them right here on this side and there's gonna be three of them on the other side. And what you just wanna do is just unscrew them first. It's easier said than done. Next thing that you wanna do is grab an 11 millimeter socket. And pretty much right over here there's going to be three bolts right here holding each tail light you can see there's one there there's going to be another one over here on that side and one all the way on the bottom which what you just want to do is loosen all three up we're not going to take off the whole entire tail light but we're just going to loosen it up just so the bumper can easily come off what we're doing is just getting this whole area loose and just so there's not any tension on the wires we're just gonna set this up right here, just like that, just so we have access to actually remove the rear bumper without having to actually disconnect the head, the tail lights, I should say. You can if you want, it's very simple, just like that, but we're just gonna leave it just like that for now and move on to the other side. We're just gonna do the same. We're just gonna take it out and pretty much just rest it on like that now next thing that you want to do once you have all these uh, screws on this side is you just want to pull right here there's a bunch of clips it's very simple you just pull like that and then this side too you pull that and then moving on to this side you do the exact same thing you want to pull on this side of the bumper just like that very gently Pretty much what we're doing right now right here there's four clips here these are much the hardest ones just like that and what we push, want to do is this last one here we just want to get access to right here right here try to so this is the old one and we're just gonna push in that clip right there and drop it down and that's the old one. I'm just gonna grab the new one. All right, so here's the brand new one and it's gonna go exactly where the old one went, right through there. And we're just gonna click it up and it's that simple. Now, what we're gonna do now is if you didn't already disconnect this wire, I already had it disconnected, but we're just gonna plug it back into there. You can line it up. It only goes in one way, can't go in that way. So we're just gonna push it in like that and you're gonna hear a click. Make sure everything's clicked in and you're much done with your installation. You just put back the bumper by clipping all the clips back into place. Simple as that. And now go on to this side and pretty much line up this little tabs onto there and these tabs up here and we're just gonna slide it on now once you pretty much have everything clipped on you can run uh, easy tests right now we're basically just gonna press the unlock button and you can see right there you got the new license plate lights installed there and working perfectly fine just want to double check before you tighten everything up put all the bolts back but pretty much after you do that what you want to do is just grab your tail lights now and just put them back into place we're gonna grab this one make sure this one doesn't fall while we're doing this and just line it up with the holes and just like that we're gonna get the bolts the 11 millimeter bolts and we're pretty much just gonna tighten them back up we're gonna put them back onto there there's one there another one over there and one down there and once you're done with that, what you want to do is grab the three Phillips screws 
and just put them back into these three holes one there one down there in the middle and one all the way down here in the bottom and once you have put all the everything back together you are done with your whole installation remember guys if you guys are enjoying the content make sure you guys like and subscribe and it is drew and i'm out peace Thank you.